So the mega wildfires that have plagued the state in recent years are having a huge impact on virtually every homeowner in the form of higher insurance costs. But some are having a hard time finding coverage at all. Well, now John Ramos reports the state's largest insurer has announced that many more will soon be looking. This quiet neighborhood at the foot of Mount Diablo is one of many that is about to get a rude awakening about the state of homeowners insurance in California. Caballo Ranchero Drive in the township of Diablo near Danville is lined with lovely and expensive homes. But when Ron Agazarian moved here, he got a surprise from his insurance company, State Farm. When we purchased this house, we thought we would just roll over our policy from there to cover this home. And uh, they told us they wouldn't uh, insure out here. They were not writing policies in this area. His home is in the 94528 zip code, and in July, more than half of the 152 State Farm policyholders in the area will be told that their insurance will not be renewed. The company published a map showing where other non-renewals will take place, more than 30,000 across the state. Insurance broker Carl Sussman explains why this is happening. For some reason, State Farm kept writing, and they were not just writing, but they were writing in areas that most carriers would not have written in ever. So we were a bit perplexed what the move was, what the game plan was with that. So when State Farm's coming out now being the first one is to actually start non-renewing homes in what are considered above average for fire risk, it doesn't surprise us too much. In one zip code in the Santa Cruz Mountains, more than 65% of policies will be ending, and in one near Santa Rosa, nearly 48%. But in the entire state, the area with the most policies being non-renewed is the small city of Orinda in Contra Costa County. More than 1,700 of the 3,100 state farm policies will not be continued. The changes are coming faster than the very fire everyone's worried about. Tom Stack is a local real estate agent and says finding home insurance in Orinda has become so erratic that he's advising people to look for coverage before they start house hunting. And the refrain is, I've never had a claim. I've had them 20, 30 years. People are insulted, disgusted, upset. Those who lose their insurance may have to join the California Fair Plan, the state's insurer of last resort. Besides being expensive, Sussman says the program has become so overwhelmed with applicants that it can now take weeks just to get a quote. And operators say one big wildfire could throw the whole thing into insolvency. When I say they have very few choices, I'm being kind. Some may literally have no choices. If they're too large for the California Fair Plan, then they're going to have to talk with a broker to try and get a policy that could be through Lloyd's of London. And we could be looking at premiums without exaggerating of 30, 40, $50,000 a year, you know, outrageous, but that's what happens. That's the, that's exactly what you expect to see when there's no competition, right? But he says there could be hope in the future. The state is looking to change regulations that would allow insurers to price policies on a home by home basis, something that's not currently allowed. Sussman says that should attract insurers back to the market again, allowing them to assess risk on more factors than just a zip code. State Farm says it will begin sending out notices to homeowners on July 3rd, but they do point out the non-renewal is not a cancellation. Current policyholders will retain coverage until their current contracts expire. And at least half a dozen other insurers, including Allstate, Farmers, and Nationwide, well, they've taken similar action on pulling or limiting coverage, citing high costs and the threat of wildfires.